I'm gonna call her googly eyes. But look at those eyes. She just looked behind her. What is going on with your eyeballs? Crazy. All right, welcome back to Fishing with First Arm. So this video today is going to be about my personal best bass. My personal best is a 9.01. A pretty darn big bass for me. I know other people catch 12, 13, 14 pounders. You know, if you live on the West Coast, you might catch some giant 17, 18 pounders. But for me, a 9.01 is my biggest bass. And so it's, it's, it's a monster. It was huge. It was an amazing experience. I had a ton of fun catching this bass. The unfortunate part of it is I didn't get it on film. I didn't get all of it on film. Now it was towards the end of the day, I already used up heck, probably six hours of GoPro battery life and I was just fishing. You know, towards the end of the day, it should be good. It's, it's starting to, the sun's coming down a little bit. And so I wasn't wearing a GoPro, didn't get the hook set, didn't get reeling the bass in. The only part that I really got of it is once I got it on the bank, I was digging through my GoPro batteries and I popped one in that had maybe 20 minutes max of battery life left. Basically I filmed, you know, spending some time with it. I filmed the release. So let me tell you a little bit of story about this. So I caught this bass on a black and blue jig, what I like to throw in this particular pond. And she hit it, she just crushed up my jig. And so I got it on the bank, you know, I was freaking out, gigantic bass. I was thinking it was six, seven, eight pound max. And the only unfortunate part is I didn't have a scale. And so my wife, the lovely woman that she is, said that she would go drive 20 minutes to a store and buy a scale and come back. And so at that point, I was sitting there thinking, you know, what do I do? For 40 minutes, because I knew how far away the store was, for 40 minutes, I'm gonna spend a long time with this bass. I'm not gonna just hold it by its lip. You know, how am I gonna contain this bass to where it's still gonna be sitting with me by the time she gets back and I can weigh it? And so what I did is I took my pocket knife and I poked a little bitty tiny hole small enough for just some 65 pound braid to slip through the hole right up underneath her jaw, tied a knot and just, you know, had probably four feet of uh, a braid while she just kind of sat there looking at me the entire time. It was a bonding experience. It was a lot of fun. I cannot wait to catch another monster bass like this, but it was tough. You know, I've been sitting on this footage for, like I said, two months. I was trying to figure out in my mind how I wanted to construct the video. I didn't have the hook set. I didn't have you know, reeling her in, fighting the fish, none of that stuff. All I had was footage of me sitting there with the bass and talking about it and, you know, my wife taking pictures while I'm filming the, the 20 minutes that I had left the battery life. And anyway, hopefully you enjoy it. It was an amazing experience. I appreciate everybody watching this and sharing this with me and, you know, hopefully it's uh, interesting to you, but a monstrous bass, nonetheless, ton of fun. This is what it's all about. If you're new to the channel, it's the first time you watched it, you liked the video, you know, go ahead and subscribe and share my adventures with me. I'm fishing all the time, always hunting for big bass or really any big fish. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, of course, as always, you know, put them below in the comment section. Other than that though, let's get to the film. Holy smokes, you guys see this? You see how big this tank is? I don't have a scale, unfortunately. Mistake by me. But this is a freaking giant fish. Look at the girth on that how freaking monstrous that thing is that was freaking a ton of fun look at this thing bucket boom god bless i wish i had a scale i gotta get a weight on her gonna, I, I gotta know my official pb weight dude you're gonna want me to go all the way you're like not gonna keep her alive till then i'm gonna i'm gonna string her up oh my god this thing is a monster dude look at this not gonna sit here with a fish for I will I'll sit here for two hours with a fish what I can do is I can put braid through her lip and just kind of string her right here dude I have to I have to I can't just guess like I think it was seven or eight maybe I gotta know would you do that All right. I'm gonna um get um I'm not gonna and you gotta watch for gators babe I'm good you see this fish this is a mammoth my PB for sure by far. So basically what I'm doing is because I broke my scale, I kind of have her stringer just through the through the jaw there with some braid and uh, my wife's going to get a scale so I can get the official weight on her. I can't just release her without knowing what it is. Much too big. 
I caught her on a uh, black and blue jig with a craw trailer. Um, and she's just hanging out. She's doing pretty good. She's swimming just fine. Um, I'm guessing she's probably close to nine pounds. Here she is again. Ah, she's strong. Oh my gosh, she's cutting in my hand. She's getting her strength back. Oh, oh. She's trying to spit this line. Hopefully it's tied good enough. Crazy, crazy huge fish. It's time to release her. She was nine pounds. She did very well. She was very patient. She's gone. What a fish. Thanks fish. All right, so you just see me release my personal best nine pounds, caught it on a black and blue jig out here. Freaking amazing. So, appreciate you watching that, sharing that with me. Um, definitely will be a tough one to beat now, but I'll be going after another bigger one. So again, thanks for watching Fishing with First Arm. I'll see you next time.